everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Actions, and I'm going to show you just a quick tip today on how you can change up your photo compositions or fill in some space in your picture that might be filled with something that you don't want, especially if you shoot a backdrop or an in studio and maybe your uh, seamless paper or seamless backdrop. Um, didn't quite make it all the way to the edges of the picture. This is very simple. So on this particular picture, I don't like how she's centered basically right in the very middle. I do, however, um, on a side note, want to say that I personally like centered pictures a lot, and you'll see that a lot in my work. But for this one, I just want to scoot her over to where her eye is more in the rule of thirds little quadrant here. So it's really really simple we're starting with just this picture on the background layer and I'm just gonna double click this background layer and say OK and that turns it into a, a regular layer that's not locked and so now I can just grab my move tool and basically just slide it right on over to where I want it and I think about right there now her eyes kind of more in a, a pleasing place I might scoot it just a little this way and Basically, I have this nice blurry background right here on the side of her shoulder that I'm going to work with. So you're going to grab the marquee tool, and that is just this regular uh, rectangular marquee tool here. And I'm going to come up here and just make a selection and going as close as I can to her arm without getting any of it in there. And it creates this little marching ant box around it then all you have to do is transform it and we're just gonna basically drag it over and uh, stretch it out so I'm gonna hit command T for transform it's also control T on a PC and basically we get this little bounding box here and now we can drag this on over and of course this works with a very blurry nice bokeh background if you had something obviously in focus that wouldn't work so well but when you shoot shallow depth of field like this you can get these nice blurry backgrounds and then just drag it over and I'm going to hit enter and command D or control D the letter D will deselect that and voila we've moved the picture from being totally centered to being in a better place now Hope you found that little tutorial helpful. I use that gym um, all the time in my editing. I'm constantly stretching backgrounds and moving things around. And it's super easy and just a nice little hint. For more information on my actions, you can visit my website, michellekingphotography.com. In this particular picture, I edited it with the free monochrome black and white action. And that's available at my website under the freebies tab. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.